Hello, in this tutorial I'll show you how to export a scene or actually create a scene and then export it from cinema and bring it into Adobe After Effects uh, using the Trapcode Form OBJ Reader and have everything sync up perfectly. So first I'll just create I'll create some objects and uh, for to use this with Trapcode Form Form renders a particle on each vertex so you wanna create some more vertexes here by setting up this segment counter. So each of these um, intersections here will have a, a particle rendered in form. And I'll make a copy of this. I'll just position that somewhere here. Let me make one more. And move it over here. Okay, so I have these three uh, squares and I'm actually gonna create a camera animation also so you can see how that works and see object uh, oh, where is it scene object I'm using a target camera and then I can select to see uh, the view from that camera and I'm just gonna set two keyframes first I'm gonna make it 30 frames this animation and I'll set one keyframe here for select the camera I hit the keyframe button and then I go to the end and then I want to move the camera a little bit so I'll move it over here and I set another keyframe and I can just play this to see okay so this is the animation and um, then what I want to I want to render this uh, let's see so I want to render, let me make this, uh, so this is what I normally use, so, uh, and then let's see, I'm not very good at cinema actually, but, um, okay, so the frame range, I need to set that to all frames if I want to render uh, an animation. So I'm just going to do this really simple like this and then I go into render uh, let's see where do I go into um, render to picture viewer I think oh there's no finding okay so I specify that here I guess save and I will uh, let's see let's make a new folder on the desktop here c4d test And the file could be, uh, let's call it three, three boxes. All right. And then I can go into the picture viewer and it's going to start rendering this scene and with, with this moving camera here. And it's saving uh, the images, as you can see here. Okay, um, but then I also want to export the, the After Effects project, which I think you do that also in render settings. Here, I forgot that. So I should save a composite thing. This will save uh, something that After Effects can import. And I want to include 3D data. I'm not really sure, but I think that includes lights and stuff. I don't have any lights here, but I usually check this box. It seems to. Uh, include more things and then I select the project file and I call it three boxes and I think I think it's saved it now let's see if it did uh, yeah so it's not an After Effects project file it's it's uh, something else it's AEC and you need a plugin for After Effects to, to be able to import this and uh, I'll show you where, where you get that you just search for cinema for the AE plugin and it's on the Maxon website and here you can download the different ones for different versions okay I'll go back to cinema because I kind of forgot to export the OBJ the OBJ is what form uses so I'll do that too 
So it's really simple. I just uh, I've, I've had better luck not having anything selected here. Uh, it seemed to introduce offsets sometimes when I select stuff. So I just deselect everything and then export OBJ and let's to the same folder and I call it three boxes again uh, whoops that's not the folder where was that um, it was called C4D test All right okay all right, so now we move into After Effects. And uh, the first thing I'll do is just import. So I have already installed this Cinema 4D uh, After Effects import plugin thing. Um, so I import file and I go to um, to my, this the AEC file, open that. And this is really a nice feature of Cinema. You can get this. So now it has it has all the frames from the animation already, and it has this camera, and the camera has keyframes on it, so it's it's um, you know synced up uh, this camera. But then, okay, so the next step is uh, using trap code form with this, and I'm I'll just create a new solid code form, and I apply. Trap code form. All right. So, well, by default, form just renders these three uh, layers, and you can see it's already use. It's using the camera, of course, the composition camera, and it's. You can kind of see that it's synced up, but um, uh, but let's let's import that OBJ as well that we wanted to use. So uh, that is. Here and I'll just bring that into the composition. I switch it off, and then I go into form and select select my OBJ model and select the actual layer three boxes. And as you can see, it doesn't work at first. Uh, that's because you, we need to uncheck this normalize box. And for this depends on how you export the OBJ, but sometimes uh, the C-axis is, is inverted. And then you just need to check that box. And as you can see now, it just, uh, yeah, it just picks up and syncs perfectly. Um, yeah, the, the I'm not sure, I think you can see these points that they are actually perfectly aligned with the render. So it's, it's as easy as that. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.